uh, my name is Aaron Kerper, and I work at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's about an hour west of here. Um, so today I'm going to talk about a little project I was doing earlier this spring, sort of related to data equity and data justice. Um, so a friend of mine who actually gave a presentation on this topic yesterday uh, created a Python library called Open Police Data. So this data basically uh, is like an aggregator of uh, police data from various cities around the country. So um, there should be more stars on the map than you see here, but basically police departments are releasing some data for the public to consume. Um, a lot of this is like incident level traffic stops and things like that. So anyway, I was able to get uh, data from police departments for most major cities and towns around Virginia. So anyway, Paul was asking me, like, how do we map this? Ideally, how do we map this without a third party software? Like, we don't want to take this data and then go to QGIS or ArcGIS. We want to do it all in Python. So that's where I came into play. So anyway, um, when you make a query, if you will, in this open police data library, it comes back to you looking like this. It's a pandas data frame. If you're familiar with the pandas library in Python, if you're not, it's just tabular data, just like a CSV file or an Excel file. So anyway, this is a snapshot of uh, police data from the city of Richmond in 2021. They have incident level data for traffic stops and things like that. Um, so then anyway, we needed to take that tabular data and put it on the map. So um, I did that with uh, mostly using the GeoPandas library. So basically it's a, an extension to the Pandas library. You can take your tabular data, um, add a spatial component to it, and then later put it on the map. Unfortunately for this, uh, like Richmond's and other police data, there is no, um, there's no location, there's no cross street, there's no uh, street address or something where they had uh, in, uh, pulled someone over or whatever. So I was only able to use this police data at the city level, not at the individual level. And that's no fault of the open police data library. That just wasn't available in the data from the police department. So anyway, what you do in a pandas or geo pandas geo data frame is you take some spatial component of the data and add um, a column to your data frame, which holds the spatial information in a text format. And then you can plot it. So this is the roadmap of the city of Richmond here. Um, you see like the James River going through the middle of the city, um, but there's not, uh, there's no like background or context, anything like that. It's pretty bare bones. So you are plotting in Python, but it's leaves a little bit to be desired. So then you can take your GeoPandas geodata frames and use a couple other nice mapping libraries Contextually, or contextually is one of them. So you can add, for example, an open street map base map, which is nice to look at. Um, so I took um, leaks data from various cities around Virginia and sliced and diced it many different ways. Um, Paul was more interested in looking at data equity and uh, seeing how just the police departments were and things like that. Um, and then uh, another nice um, Python library I use is Folium, which is pretty much like Leaflet, the JavaScript library, but in Python. Um, so again, you can add a open street map base map. Um, these are just pl plotting public libraries in the city of Richmond. So anyway, open street map was not really the focus of this project. It was just sort of a nice, um, you know, part, part of the process to add some context to your mapping. Um, but uh, as we all know, OpenStreetMap provides a lot of detail, a lot of granularity and things like that. So anyway, thank you very much.